Hey, welcome back guys, it's Crafty Fox. Today we're going to be building the Generation G Gloria Kalmar Reach Stacker. So what is a Reach Stacker, you may ask? It's one of those things that handle intermodal cargo containers in terminals and ports. So as you can see, we have a shipping container here. This is like a 3x4x18. And then we just have it loaded up on this and you can use this vehicle to stack containers on top of each other. And uh, this is what it looks like when it's empty. See like the little handles that's used to grab the containers. And here's a 360 view of it. And it's actually commissioned by Victor. So thank you Victor for commissioning this video and making this video possible. <laughs> Let's get started. First off, we'll grab some materials. We'll take out a blackstone brick, blackstone brick stairs, a stone block, red concrete, Acacia slab, iron trap door, polished blackstone brick slab, acacia fence gate, smooth quartz slab, and that's all we can fit for right now. So first off, let's um, I'll make the front wheel. So we're gonna make a blackstone brick in the ground. And we'll add in blackstone brick stairs upside down at the sides, stone block in the middle, blackstone brick slides, and on top, and stairs around it. So we have like this nice tire. All right. And then after we do that, we're going to take out red concrete. And we're going to go in the middle of this, make a U shape, three blocks wide. And we're going to add in the other wheel on the other side. So just copy the same design that we did and just build it again like that okay all right so then actually this red concrete is actually supposed to be on the top not the bottom and then the bottom of this we'll add in black stone brick slabs we're going to make a row of three across like that and the front of this it's going to have a black stone brick slab here and then a smooth quartz block right behind it then we'll add in red concrete. So we're going to make this nine blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. At the back, we'll add in smooth quartz in the middle and slabs on the sides. Go block down, add another slab so it's spaced apart. Then we'll add in blackstone brick slab in the middle, upside down or on the top side, and acacia slabs on the sides of that red concrete in the middle and I guess we'll just make this like the entire 2 by 3 alright then we'll add in the tire so that's just like a stone block right here add in the black stone around it and the stairs as well nice big wheels and we'll do the same thing on the other side and the stairs in the corners all right, that should be the last wheel. Next, we'll take out red concrete. We're going to add that in front, or like the inner part of these wheels, and acacia slab underneath here. And we're going to go across the bottom of this, add in iron trap doors all the way across. And we'll do the same exact thing on the other side. Iron trap doors all the way across. All right, so now we'll go on the inside of the iron trap doors. We'll add in red concrete like this. Both sides, of course. Like that. And then we'll go across, I think in the middle, we'll add in red concrete all the way across the center. Like that. Then we'll add in acacia slab. We'll make it two blocks wide in the back, both sides. Add one on this side, and on the other side there's going to be this acacia stairs. And then we'll add red concrete, a pair, alongside the middle. And then we'll go on top of here, add in acacia stairs, both sides. And acacia stairs on the other side, facing the other direction. Then over here, we'll add in um, daylight detector, iron bar, skeleton skull, acacia button. Uh, what else? Blackstone brick wall. So we'll go right next to the stairs here, add blackstone brick wall, two blocks tall like that. Then go dangling up, add another two. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. 
just copying this design over and then in the middle of the front wheel we'll add in daylight detectors and we will make them stay that color and red carpet i did grab red carpet apparently i didn't so we'll take out red carpet add that in the front and the back of this daylight detector both sides and then we'll add in red concrete underneath that black stone brick wall and right here on the top side it's all covered up like that then we'll add in an iron bar to the side of the daylight detector and a skeleton skull right behind it and this is going to be our side view mirror for the driver to look at when he's operating the vehicle then we'll add in a pair of acacia buttons like this then we'll take out a black, I mean, <laughs> wither skeleton skull, yellow glass pane, birch button, black stone button, I guess, and a dark oak sign. So let's go in the front of this, add in yellow glass pane in the middle, birch buttons on the side of that, black stone brick buttons underneath that, dark oak signs in front of these wheels at the top, like so. And what else? Oh yeah, that wither skeleton skull, we'll add that onto the side. Great. So next, let's add in um, acacia stairs. Well, we'll skip a block here, add acacia stairs here. And then there's going to be this black stone brick slab and also a smooth quartz slab. So smooth quartz slab here, black stone brick slab here. And then a birch sign in front of that black stone brick slab. In the middle of this, we'll change this up into smooth quartz. And we'll add in red concrete all the way to the back like that. So on this side, there's going to be acacia stairs, smooth quartz slab, acacia stairs, and then red concrete all the way to the back. Acacia slab here. And then red concrete in the middle of this. Then we'll add acacia stairs. A pair of this, one upside down, one right side up like this. So it's on a diagonal on top. We'll add in red concrete. And acacia stairs on top of that. The other side, we could do the same thing. Two stairs, red concrete, and the stairs on top. Then we'll add in red concrete here, and then acacia slab. And then we'll add iron bars, so it's going to be two blocks tall, little antenna on top of the stairs. The other side, we'll add in a bedrock block right here. And we'll take a stone button, add that to the right side of it, and then a dark oak fence gate, open that up towards the front. And we'll take out a nether brick wall, I mean a nether brick fence, and we'll add in two here. Go to the left and add in three, like that. Then go on the other side, and we'll do the same thing, so add in two here, and then three. And then we'll add another one right here in the front. Front. And then on this side, there's going to be a little L shape here, a birch fence gate underneath that, and a stone button in the middle. Like that. So the rest of this is going to be a light gray carpet, top of these, whatever the iron trap doors that's exposed. Like that. Then we'll go to the back. And we will take out red carpet and a dark oak fence gate. And we'll just add that to the top of this and open this fence gate up. Add a black stone brick button underneath that. Um, right there. And underneath that is going to be a acacia button. Like so. Then up over here we'll add in acacia slabs, both sides. I like that. Then we'll add in uh, this stone brick stairs, a black glass, a uh, gray glass pane, a uh, daylight detector, and a dark oak sign. So first off, we're going to add in stone brick stairs on top of this move quartz. Then we'll make an L shape of black glass around it. On top, we'll add two um, daylight sensors, daylight detectors or daylight sensors? Okay, daylight detectors, make them blue. Add a dark oak sign in the front of this. 
And we'll take out gray glass pane. We'll make an L shape here on the side. Make it a, like a little frame like that. Once we're done with that, um, I guess we'll get started on the boom. So we'll take out another brick stairs, dark oak fence gate, black concrete, and black stone brick slab. All right, so for that, there's going to be black stone brick slab in between these stairs. And then a black concrete right behind it. And then to the side, we'll add in another brick. A fence is on either side. In the middle, we'll add in a dark oak fence gate. Open that up. And on top of this, we'll add in black stone brick slab. And then to, I guess, black concrete. And then we're going to make this pattern where it's going to go uh, diagonally forward. So it's like two blocks of black concrete. And it will be... I would say it would, it would just go like one block past this front wheel. So go extend this black concrete two blocks. Diagonally two blocks again. Another two. And then another two till we reach like one block past this front wheel. So it should line up like that. Okay, so once we're up at here, we'll take out a birch fence gate. And we'll add in two here. Go down, another two. Go down, another two. Go down, another two. And then over here, there might be... Oh, yeah. This is where that connects with the boom. The, like, what do you even call this? The hydraulic, hydraulic lift. We'll add in a black stone brick slab here instead. And this will go for both sides. And then we'll add in a birch fence gate. I mean a fence underneath that slab so it connects like that. And then we'll add in another birch fence gate gently down. And then we'll add in a birch, I mean a nether brick fence right there. What else can we do about this? Oh yeah, and the other side's different, so it's not the same thing on both sides. That's going to be two birch buttons on this side at the bottom. All right, now we're gonna actually smooth out this black concrete a little bit using the slab. So we'll take out black stone brick slabs, and we'll just add it where the, um, the edge is, basically between the two diagonal areas. We we'll just smooth out that area, making it like a little thicker. So we have this so far, nice uh, boom. That's what you call these booms. Okay, so after we're done with that. Uh, let's go back over here. We're going to add in the arm here. That's going to be another two black concretes. Uh, Dangly up. And then we're going to go dangling up one black concrete. And then underneath there is going to be a black stone brick stairs upside down. And then black concrete and another one black concrete dangling down so that there's two. Then we'll add in black stone brick stair, I mean slabs, in these little crannies and nooks. In front of this is going to be two black stone brick stairs. Facing towards the front, and then to the side of this we'll add black stone brick slab. Both sides of it like that. And then a dark oak fence gate in the middle of this, open that up. And to the side of this is going to be uh, two nether brick fences that and another brick fence that we have from that birch fence gate all right and then at the bottom of this there's going to be a uh, black stone brick stairs upside down right there dark oak fence gate open that up towards that stairs all right so for the other side there's going to be uh, another brick fence so it lines up the other fence on the other side and a dark oak button at the front of that all right, so for this actual, like, what do you even call it? I don't even know the thing that handles the actual container. This is actually a little bit asymmetrical. You may not notice it, but one side is longer than the other. And that's because the container is 18 blocks long, uh, which is an even number. But this container, this handler, is like an uh, odd number. So it will be offset by one to one side. Not really noticeable, though. Uh, but we need it to uh, have the size consistent. Just letting you know. So let's go underneath here, add in a black concrete in the middle. And we're going to make this side an additional 9 blocks. 
So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And the other side will be 8 additional blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Like that. Then on the edges, we'll add in a black stone brick slab. Stairs in the front. Another slab in the back. And then a black, I mean a dark oak sign to the edge of it. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Repeat it once again. Like that. Then we'll take out a dark oak button. We'll add that underneath on the edges, the corners. I don't know if you can see if the shader is kind of dark for me. But when I edit these videos, I actually turn up the brightness a little bit compared to what I'm seeing in game. So next we'll take out a birch button. Uh, also a blackstone button. So add in birch button in the middle. And then another brick fence on either side of it. And then we'll add in two blackstone buttons on this side, and then another brick fence. So go on the other side, skip two, and add another another brick fence. Now the back side, we'll add in another brick fences, so they line up with the fences in the front. So make sure that everything lines up like that. And then we'll add in a dark oak uh, fence gate right in between, uh, right over here, birch fence or birch button in the middle, and then one over here to the left see if that's about it. Uh, also take out uh, this black carpet and we're gonna make this go line up all the way to that nether brick uh, fence that we have on the outer edge and that should be like three blocks long. Alright so once you've done that I think that's pretty much it on how to build uh, the Kalmar uh, reach stacker the generation G Gloria and to actually add in the container simple you just add in a giant box here this is like the same dimensions as the front or like the top part it's just like a 3 by 4 by 18 so 4 blocks tall 3 blocks wide and 18 blocks long like that and you can also customize this um, I think in real life these things they can change the length so if you want to make it shorter you can if you want to move like a half size container I suppose uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Thanks to Victor for commissioning this build and making this video possible. If you guys do enjoy this video, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you had already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.